Hi Church. Uh, so if you don't know already, I'm back in Australia. Unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, my time in New Zealand was cut short. However, I still will be able to continue my School of Frontier missions here in Australia via online. If you don't know already, um, I was over in New Zealand studying this thing called a School of Frontier Missions, which is just all about what it's like to go to new culture, learn a new language, and how to reach the least reached people groups, and how to plant churches, all these different things. And it was just a really valuable time over there. Um, I was able to be taught by about four different frontier missionaries from different locations all over the world. There was somebody who was a missionary in Azerbaijan, another one who was a missionary in China, and another one from Fiji. And these guys taught us uh, on a myriad of different topics, including cross-cultural communication, uh, so all about the different kind of cultures that we have all over the world, how there's some cultures who are more hot, oriented cultures socially uh, and then others which are a little bit more cold and reserved so the hot ones being kind of like the more warm and open cultures and the cold ones being a little bit more like Australian culture where it's you know it is open but to a lesser degree as you know some of the uh, Asian countries where everything is just kind of hospitality oriented and that kind of thing as well as high context cultures where it is uh, a culture where there's a lot of different ritual practice and social rules that need to be followed that everyone in the culture kind of knows. But if you go to this new culture, they aren't likely to tell you these things. Um, and if you break them, they also won't tell you. So things like that. Uh, so that was just one of the weeks. Another week we went through and we talked all about like what it's like to experience culture shock and how to overcome that and the steps. Uh, and a lot of it just came down to praying and asking God to give us our heart for these people, to give us our eyes for these people. Uh, recently, we went through a week where we talked all about what it means to plant churches and discipleship making movements, disciples who make disciples. Uh, what it means to, instead of just going after an individual, to go after a whole family. So plenty of different weeks around these sort of topics. Uh, one of my favorite weeks was all about holistic transformation, about how the gospel itself is primarily about salvation but actually flows out into all other areas of life when you bring it to a new place. Uh, it's all about redeeming families, communities and nations and how the gospel changes things in all of those ways. God has given us a purpose to live out and when we bring the gospel into a place, yeah, it gets salvation first, but it's all about writing them to their original design in God. And because the world is so diverse and there's thousands and thousands of individual people groups all across the world, Everyone has a part to play. In Revelation, it talks about there being this massive multitude uh, and every tribe and tongue was represented. It's important because every tribe and tongue, every culture across the world, when the gospel is released inside that culture, has a unique way of reflecting and worshiping God. And it all comes down to being in line with his word, but the way that these things done are always different. So. Lots of little things like that. Uh, it's been super valuable. Um, thankfully, I am able to continue this study here, just online. And uh, as you may know, the original plan was to go out to Nepal straight away once all this finished. Uh, with the current situation of the world, that's not going to be possible until a while from now. Um, and I'll have more updates on how that plan looks coming soon. Thanks, Church.